After doing the Navadip Parikama, for seven days we had the Bhagavad Sattai Motura. After that, in Faridabad we had, we, have all, we had also seven days of Bhagavad Kata in Radhamad of Gauriya Mart in Faridabad. Especially, one thing, we had to make our lives like full of Bhagavatam. What's the essence of the Bhagavatam? In that way that like the Brajadevis, the Brajagopis, they have towards Krishna so much deep attachment to Krishna. <laughs> and they serve Krishna with so much anurag, the Brajagopis. The essence of our life is the same bhava manifest in our hearts, same mode of the gopis. Like this look <coughs> How is the, the conception of opinion of the line of Mahaprabhu? Is that Brajananda Shama Sundar, dear Lalit Krishna, is my worshipable deity? Especially in Shaman Bhagat. Explains. It is Shaman Sakalapunsa. Krishna is Bhagavan Swam. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is established in the Bhagavatam. And other Puranas, like Matsa Kurma Bara and Shinha Puranas, other Puranas. It doesn't clarify so much that Krishna is the. God, absolute God. He clearly did not say who is Bhagavan. He did not say, Vyasadeva did not say in the other Puranas this. But in Shamad Bhagavad, he told directly, Ete Chamsa, all this 
all these 24 avatars that he explained about them. Vesadeva says, all these 24 avatars like Matsa, Kurma, Ramachandra, all are also are Kala, means a portion of plenary portions of parts of plenary portions of Krishna's Supreme Personality of God. So in Bhagavad means his quality of being God doesn't depend on nothing else. That's why Jitan Charitamta describes that Krishna is why Supreme Personality of Godhead, Swayam Bhagavan. This explains. The six kinds of the six qualities of God and it's wealth, uh, Aishwarya, opulence, all the. He's the uh, owner of everything that exists. Vidya, he's so much powerful. Jasha, his, his glow, his bril brilliance spreads in all directions. He's so much famous. So Krishna, what is the speciality of Krishna? In Bhagavatam, it shows this. The 64, Krishna has 64 qualities. 60. Ramachandra has 62 and a half. And Brajananda Shamasundra, 64 qualities. In the 64 qualities, he has four qualities which are extraordinary. <coughs> Rupa Madhurja, his, his form is so beautiful. Who did you send to call me? I want you to speak Harikata. What are we saying? Krishna has 64 qualities. Especially the four qualities, extraordinary qualities of Krishna. And among these four extraordinary, the topmost is Rupa Madhurja. Sweetness of the form of Krishna. His form is so sweet, so pretty. If you have the darshan of his form, pretty. Even the avatars of Krishna, they are anxious to have darshan of the form of Krishna. Vasudev Krishna, he, he wants so much, he's amazed when, about the Leela and, uh, and the beauty of Krishna. Vasudev Krishna is also praising uh, Krishna from Vrindavan. So Krishna himself also, he becomes like um, elucidated or like attracted or like when he sees himself. His pastime is in the childhood, and then like a like a baby, like a child, and then like youth. Krishna becomes like a bewildered. This is the word, Krishna. Like a normal person, he's doing this lila. Like a human being, he's doing the lila. Like in the time of the youth, what happens in the youth? Youth, young age. In that same way that in the young age. The heart gets some transformation in the heart of the person. So in the same way, Krishna, like a normal human being, he starts running after gopis or chasing them. Like Rupa Goswami he describes like this. In this way that Krishna is young age. He is he's doing the Prem Bihar with the gopis. So, the, so like in the maturity age, like puberty, you know? So they, I told like briefly, I told briefly this, after Benogit, there was the Ras Lila. So, Lila Madhurja, you know? and then Prema Madhurja, the sweetness of his divine love. Even Krishna is controlled by this Prema Madhurya. He says this 
मम्मा वाह इन दैट वे दैट द पर्सन द भजन सु मी आई आल्सो आई आल्सो वर्शिप प्रकेट अकॉर्डिंगली पर इन द भागवत में कृष्ण इज इन दैट इज द लव द गोपीस ही सेज न पारि अहम निरबद्ध समय जन से साधु कृतम विदेश पीर तो दिस लोक कृष्ण ही सही ही जिंदा थे चले गोपीस ये गोपियों की प्रेम की मधुरमा सर्वोत्तम बना सन कृष्ण अपने मुखार में कृष्ण इन फिजों लॉट ऑफ माउथ ही मैनिफेस्ट द ग्लोरीज इन लाइक हाई इन द हाउ द लव द गोपीस द हाईएस्ट थिंग यस दे सन between lover and beloved they never consider the other like a indebted they are free from all the debts they are liberal love is liberal that's why so what is the way to be free from the debts krishna himself said when i take sanyas and when i serve you so sadhu krita this verse explains in sanskrit i will be able to to repay like to pay off my debt with you that's why krishna took a sanyas in form of goranga mahaprabhu he took sanyas and did this seva to the gopi shri pramodade in the raya mananda he read shit all this madurja this fitness of this sentiment bibudam bibudam means brahma if i had the time of life period of life like brahma and if i serve you all these years of life of brahma i will never be able to pay off my debt to jnan chaitam that explains krishna skavraj bhumi says Krishna is in that it's the love of the gopis because of the love the people of this world they why they take they when they take birth in this world they have that how many deaths six they have six kinds of deaths to the demigods to the rishis to the king to the father to the mother how many this verse of bhagavatam explains devarishi bhutapta nidnam pitrinam how many reigns how many deaths and so so what is the means or how to be free from these debts krishna gives the liberation his name is mukunda if we offer ourselves the lotus feet of govinda then we will be able to free ourselves from the debts and this is the duty of the living entities krishna gives all the kinds of liberations He'll be f- so we should offer ourselves to his lotus feet of Krishna, then be able to be free from all the debts, because all the jeevas, all the souls, they are indebted to God, to Krishna, to Govinda. So when it's each other with Govinda, we'll be able to be to be free from all the debts. our mother and father also also are indebted to god everybody is indebted to god we all took money from god <coughs> so that's why i should turn to him we can be free from all the debts but we cannot be pay off our debts with our mother is mother rain this debt of mother is the biggest debt we have this is the conception in this material world to be free from to pay off our debt with our mother we need seven births to do that but then you need seven times to take birth from other other mothers also so if you seven times have again to go in the womb of mother you have seven mothers or not so how to become free from all this debt you cannot be free actually that's why but my mom, mom is also indebted to god krishna That's why if we serve to Govinda, we will be free from our debt with mother and father as well. 
Vishnabhakti Pragyana Kishu Goswami Maharaj says, serve your father. What did he say? This is it. Serve your father. People think, oh, my, my father is this person who gave me birth. He's my father. One is Pita, father, and another Parampita, supreme father. Who is the supreme father? Parampita is Govinda. So we should serve Govinda. And the same Govinda. He, he is feeling himself in that is the gopis. He is feeling himself in that is because of that love. This Bhagavatam shows this. How is this Prem? Radhaji herself is saying, in this Bangla Kirtan, this Kirtan in Bengali language it says, what he says? Krishna, actually, you don't know you, what is Prem. You don't know Krishna. What, what, which kind of suffering and like and this fire that comes in the heart because of this burning sensation, this suffering that comes in the heart because of the prema which comes in the heart, you don't know Krishna. Krishna is at the same time, if you take like a sugar cane, if you, t if you, if you put the sugar cane in the fire, what will happen? The sugar juice, sugar cane juice will be hot. Then if you like, a, if you if you bite the sugar cane, how do you say like? Shh, shh. No, you try to suck. If you suck the sugar cane, it will be the the the, the liquid will be very hot. The sugar cane juice will be very hot, but will not be able to to let it go because it will be also very sweet at the same time. So prem is like that at the same time. Prema is like that. So there are many katas of prem. Our acharis in Chaitanya Charitam they describe all this. Why? Because prema is not something from this world. It's something from a spiritual world. And the people of this world, they don't have a realization of something from the transcendental world. If you have some realization of feeling about something, then if you say about that thing, you'll be able to understand. If you already know. But if you don't even know this thing, don't have a realization of that thing, if you tell you not understand, it's like if you play the flute in front of the buffalo. Buffalo will not understand the flute sound and only will continue uh, uh, eating grass. Because prem is not something from this world. That's why our Chandidas says, Pihiriti priti means love. Priti prem. How many syllables there in the prem? Three syllables. Piriti. Johnny Dad says this. Brahmaji. He's also bewildered. When he starts thinking about the prem, Brahmaji says, my head, my head also starts to spinning. Like I cannot understand. Very few people know about the prem, actually. In this material world, what is a prema is not actually prem, not love. Prem is something from the spiritual world. Something from the spiritual world. When the gopis listen to the sound of fruit of Krishna, they start running. We are here seated, we don't do anything. Krishna nowadays is playing the flute in Vrindavan or not? Who can listen to this, this sound of flute in their ears? Actually, everybody. But those who listen to the sound of the flute, they'll have their realization. Like the friends of Krishna listening or not? The sound of the flute. When the, some, the friends of Krishna listen to the sound of the flute, they think Krishna is calling to us to go cow, cow grazing with me, him. And they, all the sakas come in and gather. When Krishna is coming back from cow grazing, he calls also the sakas through the sound of the flute because they are playing here and there and they are like spread. And then Krishna also plays the flute to, to call all the sakas, you know, all his friends. So, so when they listen to the sound of the flute, 
the friends of Krishna is think uh, Krishna is going to us for cow grazing or to play with us. Maja Shoda, she also listens the sound of the flute. Shukadeva Goswami Pad says, this Vamsi Dwani, the sound of the foot is one only. But when he comes in, like ears of the gopis, for example, the gopis think Krishna is calling us to do the rasa bilas. Like the rasa dance, these things. This, this sound is the clean. The sound of the flute is clean. Same sound which is in our Gayatri mantra, but that we chant. That means this thing. So, in this way, the gopis, what do they do? They start running. They run so much. Why? Because the, the sound of the flute comes inside of the hearts, and that thing which is in their hearts, which is very rare, very rare, the sound of the flute steals this wealth of the gopis' hearts. So when Krishna comes to gopis, when gopis come to Krishna, Krishna tells them, you are ladies, gopis, you are ladies. So in the night time, you should, you should not stay here in this place, you should go back to your house. It's night time, evening. Mid of the night. And And look, here is night time. In the night time, many kinds of beasts, you know, animals are out. Lion, ghosts, witches. They are so much frightening. So it is not nice you'll be here in this time. Madam means? You're young. You are so much young. You're very thin. In Rasa Shasta, it's called Sumadhama. The description of all this, Salabhishana Chakavata Pad explains. You have been listening from this from Shri Ramachandra Prabhu about the description of Rasa Lila through Vishana Chakavata Pad. When I study, there's nobody here, Maharaj. He's saying, okay, good, Guru Dasa. But with you, there's everybody listening. Our people who listen to your Maharikata and my Harikata are different, isn't it? These are also Lila also. Maybe three or four people listen to my class in the morning. But through the internet, everybody listens. Thousand people say Guru Dev says, like here, 20, 30 people are sitting here for me. But this, this mobile here, how many people all over the world listen to my class? Guru Dev says, those who are listening nearby, they're sitting right. People from England, America, Brazil, everybody's listening to my. Five thousand or ten thousand people look my things in the internet, and also show who who is listening. Now, if you listen, if you open the internet, you see, you see the people from China, from London, everybody is listening, and it shows like this green light and doing ding, ding, ding <laughs> like this. <laughs> Let's see who is there watching. Internet is like only ten, ten or three people sitting near in front of you here. But many, not, infinite people can listen. If those who have ruchi, taste, and faith, they will listen, you know. But those who don't have this, what to do? Each person. Some people don't have taste for listening. Some, every, actually, everybody listens. Not that. Everybody listens. Not like uh, he's not. What, what is, what is this lesson? Adruchi, what? Yeah, it was like I could include the sadhak. They like to listen to the whatever katha is in the mood. <coughs> so Krishna told the gopis, you are so much also beautiful and like 
Madame Desh means the waste. Waste? So when you dance, who can dance the Ras dance? Those who have waste? No, those who are thin. Those gopis which are fat cannot dance in das, uh, dan, Ras dance. So this explains, ex, the beauty of the gopis also explains. Actually, we're not gopis now. Our, our material, we have material body, gross body, subtle body, and the current, current body. In this body, you cannot do the rasa dance. Krishna will never touch you because your body is very disgusting and bad smell. So, atmas, if you have the gopi bar, You also have a very beautiful body if you have the potential of Gopi Bhav. Like I told today. What did they say? Who was chanting this Gopal Mantra? The rishis of Dandakaranya forest. For how many years? For thousands of years. Thousands of years. One thousand or thousands? Thousands of years. For thousands of years they were chanting. And when they saw Ramchandra, they had this purti of Krishna. And the Gopi Bhav came in their hearts and they started running towards the Ramchandra. The Bhagavad Ramchandra told, In this Leela, I made a vow. I gave my words with Sita, Di, Sita Ji. What did I say? Eka Patni Bratadhari. I will not marry anyone besides Sita. I will not accept anyone besides Sita. But you have this kind of so much ignorance to eagerness and then, uh, to me to be with me so I my heart melted so in the Krishna Leela Ramachandra told to the Rishis when I manifest in the Krishna Leela I will accept you and these Rishis they waited for how many thousands of years when the Ramachandra came when in Treta Yuga in the, in the in 24 Chatra Yuga now we are in the 20, 28 now no now we're in the 28th Chatur Yuga of the day of Brahma. So how many thousands of years they, exp they waited? Because Ramachandra said that in Krishna Lila. Wait, wait. So Gurudev said, Ramachandra, he does not come in all Trita Yugas. Ramachandra, like Krishna comes also. Also Krishna doesn't come in all Dwapara Yugas. Marjana Shamasundas doesn't come in all Dwapara Yugas. So in the same way, in all Treta Yugas, Dasharat, Nandan, Ramchandra doesn't come. So you can think and see how many, for how many thousands of years the Zirishis waited for Krishna. And after that, in the 28th Chatur Yuga, in the end of the Dwapara Yuga, when Krishna came to material world, through the mercy of Jogamaya, all these rishis of Dandakaranya, they were born in the house of gopis and they got the body of gopi. And after that, they got the Sangha association of Nitesida gopis, like Lada, Radha and Lita. Because until you have the association of the Rad, eternal associates of, of, of Krishna, you cannot have the Anuraga. You can have the Prem, but not the Anuraga. Until you have the association of Radha Lalita, the Nita Siddha, if you don't have their association in your heart, it will not, will not appear this very thick and condensed Anuraga, deep attachment to God, to Krishna. Without this Anuraga, we cannot actually enter the Krishna Lila, you know? These are all very subtle conceptions. In Lujani Lamani and other books, this explains. Through his commentary, he explains. Paraspa, this anuraga, deep attachment, means parasparar no sneha anubandhanam. Through the affection of each other, the loved and beloved, are, their heart is like bonded. bonded. This is called parasparar no sneha anubandhanam. How this happens? Lalita Vishaka, you know, if you have the Sangha, association of Radha, Lalita, etc., then you have this Anurag. Okay, you have the Swarup Siddhi. After that, you have, get the Bhava Siddhi. After the Bhava Siddhi, you have the... What you have? The Bhastu Siddhi. But until 
You don't have the Sangha of the Nidhisiddha Parikars. You cannot achieve this Anurag Dasha, the state of Anurag, which means you have this Parasparano Sneha Anubandhanam. You are tied by the love and affection. So you should have the association of the eternal associates of Krishna. So when Krishna is doing manifest pastime, manifested pastimes in the earth, on the earth, to, to give the mercy to these sadhakas which are very much anxious. That's why Krishna appears with his eternal associates to give this mercy to these sadhakas which are very eager to give the mercy. God comes from the transcendental world, Goloka Vrindavan, who his parikaras associates to this world. And he manifests all his lilas. If you listen or chant about these lilas or remember these lilas or if you have the darshan of these lilas, through this your heart will slowly, slowly. This utkanta means so much eagerness will come in your heart. If you listen to this lila and see, etc. So after that, you you also will get the association of this nitya siddha parikaras. So in the vasrahara nila means when Krishna stole the clove of the gopis. Katyayani, they were doing the Katyayani brought means the Katyayani puja that the gopis. But the nitya siddha gopis, Radha Lalita, they did not do the Katyayani brought. Who did the Katyayani brought? Only the sadhana siddhas. But in the to get the in the last day they called this the Nitas the Gopis and they got the association of these eternal associates of Nitas the Gopis. So Sam Bhagavan he told he gave instructions to these sadhana the Gopis. Look. Oh you have this kind of anurag for me, right? So because of this all the Kalmas means imperfections. Kalmas? I forgot. All the anarthas, the bad things in your heart, all are destroyed because of your anurag. Like Krishna says, like if you, if you, if you fry or if you roast, if you burn or roast one seed, that seed will not be able to uh, sprout after. So, in the same way. If you become absorbed in me, Krishna says, because of this, all kinds of obstacles and unwanted things in your heart are destroyed. That's why now you're qualified to what? To do Lila with me, to be with me. You know, to be with me. So in the next Sarada Purnima, next Sarada full moon, I will fulfill your desires. But what happens in the next Sarada Purnima? Sarad Purnima. Indra did that. You know, put all, did all that rain in the Braj, and then Krishna had to to lift Giriraj. Then that's why Krishna could not do the fulfill their desires. When the next Purnima, Sarad Purnima, next year, Krishna fulfilled the desire of the gopis and did the rasdans. The me meaning is, if you don't have the sangha of this nitas the parikars, Radha Vishak. If you don't have this association with Radha Nitas the Parikas, Anuraga will not come in your hearts. So the speciality of this Anuraga, Shila Vishnu describes. What what is it? I just said, do you remember? I just said Parasparanu Sneha Anubandanam. This means lover and beloved through the love and affection. They are so much bonded bonded. There's the bondage because of the love and affection they have. This locus means this Parasparanu Sneha Anubandhanam. This is a very confirmation, Tato Siddhanta of the Guriya Vaishnavas. Do are you understanding? Do, did you know this? So to, to enter the Rasa Lila needs to, to have this qualification. Why Lakshmi Devi couldn't enter the Rasa Lila? Because didn't, she didn't want to accept the guidance of the gopis. She tried to enter the Rasa Lila, Lakshmi Devi. She did austerities. But she did not accept the anugat, that means guidance of gopis. That's why this loka says. <laughs> 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 
system that explains. If you don't accept the guidance of Nitya Siddha Parikaras of Gopis, if you don't have the association of Nitya Siddha Parikaras, this bow, you cannot enter the Rasalila, sorry. So, Raghunadas Goswami explains even more in this look. Those who don't take shelter of lotus feet of Radharani. Those who don't take shelter of Vrindavana Dham. And those people who don't get the Sangha or association of Rasika Vaishnavas. And they don't listen to this Rasa Madhurya Kata from the lotus mouth of this Vaishnavas, Rasika Vaishnavas. How this person enter Shringaras means conjugal mood. Because this Shringaras, Madhurya Ras, conjugal mood. So, you have to follow three rules to if you want to enter Shringaras means conjugal rus. What are the three rules? First, you have to have I can't take one pointed nishta to lotus feet of Radharani. Like Harshala Raghunadas Goswami describes, what does he say? Tavasmi, Tavasmi in this look. Uh, hey Radhi, without you, I cannot maintain my life. I cannot survive. This is my prayer. I want Seva to your lotus feet. So, this is have, this is having uh, one point in this so Radharani. This is the first rule. Second rule, we have to live in Vrindavan. <laughs> but where will you live in, Bro, in Braj? In the, on the banks of Radha Kunda, which is the topmost place, or in the Seva Konja, in Nidhuvan, in Nikunjaban. All these places are. You have to stay in this way, in this place. If with your body you cannot stay, at least with your mind you should live in these places. How to stay in the, with your mind in these places? If you listen to the kata of these places. So if you listen to this kind of harikata, you will be living in, the, in that place. You are here in Delhi, but you listen to this kata. So where are you now exactly, actually? You are now in Vrindavan. Because you are listening to the kata of Vrindavan. So all these bhavas of Vrindavan are manifesting in your heart right now. So where the Vaishnavas are, this is Vrindavan. Where the Shuddha Vaishnavas, pure Vaishnavas are, speaking Harikata and discussing these things. This place is directly Vrindavan. The people of gross mind, they think I have to, I have to live in Vrindavan. But how come you live in Vrindavan? Means you have to live in Vrindavan through the Harikata. Uh, through the Harikata, not with your body exactly, but how? With your mind and through the Harikata. Through the bhav sentiment. So we should live in Vrindavan. And where? Where? These kinds of very sweet, sweet pastimes of Aradgovind are going on. In this place you should live. The bhavana and the sentiment should be like that. And third rule you have to follow. You should have the association of these Rasika Vaishnavas. If you listen to this Rasalila Primakata from Rasika Vaishnava, you will attain to Krishna. If you should sit with the sadhus and listen to this sweet Harikata from him, from them. With each other, you should describe all the Sarikata and you should like Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. They would sit in the Tair Kadamba. Early in the morning, the Harikata would begin. What time would begin? Very early in the morning. 
six, six thirty a.m. Two brothers seated, describing, uh, discussing about each slok of the Bhagavatam. Like the Bhagavatam, I said this, right? Mahaprabhu. I described this in the Bhagavatam also. So, Janma Dasi Jataha, the first slok of the Bhagavatam. Janma Dasi, Janma Adi Asi. This also explains about the Shingaras. The, the, uh, the, the source of all the rasas is the Shingaras, means conjugal mellow. What is the source of all the mellows? Is the conjugal mellow. Is the source of all the ras, all the mellows. So each word of this loka has so many different uh, definitions. Sanatana Goswami gave one definition, one explanation. Rupa Goswami gave another one. Like the, 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 the waves of the ocean, you know? There's one wave coming and uh, one wave comes behind with so much big and he covers the, the other wave. Covers the other wave and like follows and continues. So Sanatana Goswami was describing a very beautiful sentiment. But then Rupa Goswami gave another sentiment, so much sweet. Like the waves of the ocean. What? Spread. They spread. And this gives the ocean more beauty. So in the king, in the Prem Raja means in the realm of the Prem. All these bhavas are manifesting. So pretty. What do I mean? What's my uh, to mean? This slok of Bhagavatam, first slok of the Bhagavatam. Santana Goswami was describing each word of this loka. Then Rupa Goswami Pada. He was giving another meaning which would like cover his other meaning that Santana Goswami gave before, like a wave of the ocean. And even Radharani wanted to hear this. So she came to hear. Then Radharani came in disguise and said, Baba, you haven't eaten anything. My mom uh, sent with me some rice and sugar and milk. Do some sweet rice. But the two brothers, there's so much dainty. There's so much hum. hum. Then, then, then that girl, she sat there and started doing the sweet rice. From her lot's feet, all these perfections come. So she just blew and then the fire came and she can, could start making the kheer, the sweet rice. She sat down, down there to make the kheer. She just let, did like this blow, blow, and all the, 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 the she didn't have to, she didn't have to collect dry wood in the forest. Because from her glow, her, from effulgence of all her nails, of her lotus feet, all the perfections come and mystic perfections. So she just like, did like this, Radharan. All the, the, the leaf, dry leaves and, 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 and wood came. And then what happened? Also the, the pot, the pot, the pot came so that she could start cooking the visit rice also. And how much time it took to, to, to cook the sweet rice? One, two hours. Like stirring the kid, stirring the kid and listening, stirring the sweet rice and hearing the harikata. Actually, the Rupa Sanatana Goswami, they were giving so much very beautiful definitions. They are giving definitions about Krishna, about Radha, about the Prem and Tatsidant. So to listen to this, <coughs> Radhaji was sitting there one or two hours just to listen. It came midday. From morning to midday, they were just describing one slok. They began 6, 7 a.m. They sat down to start describing this first slok of Bhagavatam. And then there was like midday, so 6, 6, 6. Six hours they were describing one shloka of the Bhagavatam. And the G, 
he was so much in bliss by listening this look, this sentiment. So I, what I mean is in Shrimad Bhagavatam, in the 11th canto of the Bhagavatam, explains the glories of the Sadhu Sangha. Krishna himself, with his lotus mouth, he took to, to Uddhava. When a premik sadhaka, rasik sadhak, meet each other, two premik sadhakas meet each other. They do this, parasparano, this look explains, parasparano katanam. They remember the kata and make the other remember also the kata. They remember and they make other remember. So Balabhacharya say, said, when you read one book means smaranakya bhakti. Balabhacharya in one comment said, if you read the book means if you smaranakya bhakti means smaranakya bhakti means the limb of bhakti of remembrance, remembering. Because if you study the book, you will remember these things. So it comes in your remembrance. <coughs> so the, it was midday. Radhaji said, I have to go. My mom is call, call me. She was five hours making the rice, sitting there making rice. Rukhupa Goswami then said, well, what is that it's young girl? Oh, she made this kid. Okay, so they offered the, the takurji, offered to uh, the bog. They, they ate the sweet rice and saw how much was tasty. Because Radhaji herself made the sweet rice. And who ate the kid? Who? They gave to Krishna, right? Radhaji made the kid, the sweet rice, and they offered to Krishna. They offered to takurji. So Krishna also ate. And then the Krishna left the remnant, the nectar of the lotus lips of Krishna. How sweet. So the two brothers were absorbed in the prem. In, they were they drowned in the bhav, like immersed. In, when we go to Tegar Kadamba, we, we hear all this, we speak all this kata. Gurudev also used to speak this kata in Tegar Kadamba. What do I mean about, about the, all this? Is to live in Vrindavan. And you also should have one point in Ista to Vida Vradarani. And th third thing, you should you have the association of these Rasika Vaishnavas and listen to all these Rasa Madhurya Kata from them. Then the bhava will come in your heart and the bliss also will come in your heart. Oh, sorry. Prabhupada will speak something. No, no, Maharaj. I already the time. Go, go, go. 